In this video I will be showing you how to mask out clouds manually from a Sentinel-2 image in Google Earth Engine, without using any external repository. Subscribe to my channel for short and beginners-oriented Google Earth Engine tutorials. The reason behind manually cloud masking an image or image collection is to suppress timeouts or memory limitations furthermore any repository can get outdated. When we use the require function and paste the repository URL in the function, an HTTP request is sent and sometimes the response is delayed. This might slow the process or simply your browser would crash. Watch my video on cloud masking of Sentinel-2 image by using the repository by Rodrigo Principe to understand the delay and timeout concept. We will be using the Sentinel-2 Level 2A product for this tutorial. The reason behind using the Level 2 imagery is that European Space Agency provides a classification ban known as Scene Classification or SCL for every image in this data tier. This SCL band is accompanied by other derived bands as well. Inside this band we have classification labels or values. There are a total of 11 classes, but we are interested in Cloud Shadow, Cloud Low, Medium and High Probability classes only. The class numbers for these are 3, 7, 8 and 9. You can also call other available classes like Land, Vegetation and Water etc. I have already filtered a cloudy image. We'll copy paste the lines for loading the image. Watch my tutorial on filtering imagery in Google Earth Engine. When I run the script you can see on map that the image is very cloudy. First I will select the SCL band from the image using the select method, and then visualize this band on map. Then using the SCL band, I will get the cloud shadow and cloud probability classes one by one, using their class numbers, and by using the equals or EQ image method. Out of them I will display the cloud high probability mask image. As you can see that this image is a binary image with ones representing clouds, while zeros are dark pixels representing out of mask values. I will give a color palette of black and red to this binary image. Here red color represents clouds or cloud mask. Next I will merge the various cloud probability masks and cloud shadows together. I will call the merged masks image as cloud underscore mask. I will use the add method for this. This will add up the masks together. The merged image is also a binary image, and in the next step, we will convert it to a unary image by clipping out zero pixel values. For that I first select the cloudy bits which is bit 1, and then use the self mask method to replace zero pixel values with null. Finally we will clip clouds from the original image and visualize on map. For that I will use the original image and the cloud unary mask that we created. Using the image.update mask method. If you don't understand the concept of arguments of a function or how to use methods watch my tutorial on that. The update mask method will replace the original image with the mask that we provide. Here since I have provided the cloud mask so it is clipped clouds only from the original image. To fix that I will invert the mask by selecting the non-cloudy bit mask having value value equal to zero. If you learned something please like this video, code link in video description, subscribe to my channel for more short and conceptual Google Earth Engine tutorials. I will see you in the next one, peace.